Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how the random forest is working and I'm going to compare this random forest with the decision tree. What is the random forest? Random forest is small diverse decision trees voting for one decision. Then what is decision tree? Decision tree is supervised learning machine learning model. Say you have the data set, then we choose best feature to split and I'm going to eventually give the class for the data. For example, you have this data, then you can easily know this one is the family winter photo by this decision tree. And if you want to know how the decision tree is working, then I highly suggest you to watch my previous video for the decision tree here and this one. So I'm going to go over the random forest again here. So this is the easy comparison of the decision tree and the random forest. Decision tree is one giant big tree. Random forest having multiple small trees in different shapes like this. And I'm going to use the apple and orange classifier here. And there are some keywords for the random forest. First keyword to remember is boosting. Boosting is biased data collection. For example, in the decision tree, if we have the eight data like this, then the decision tree is using this eight data set as a whole as a train. But in the random forest, since you have multiple small trees, you need to uh, split this data set into multiple small trees here. And I'm giving three data for each small trees like this, but you can see there are duplicates, duplicates, duplicates in the subset of the data. Because I used the boosting here, boosting allows to have the duplicates and it eventually gives a bias on the model. And uh, you know the decision tree is very easily get overfitted. It's very popular issue of the decision tree. Say your decision tree is overfitted like this, then by having the boosting, we are giving more bias like this. So your random forest can be a solution if your decision tree is already overfitted. The second keyword of the random forest is a random selection of the feature set. In the decision tree, we always choose the best feature. For example, in this eight data, in order to split one class, what is the best question? Is it green? Is the best question because there's only one apple has green, while there's no orange have the green color. So this is the best question uh, when you uh, split the data in the decision tree. But in the random forest, we are not choosing the best feature. We actually choose the feature randomly here. For example, at the first tree, we are asking, is it green here? But you can ask, is it uh, sliced or not? I don't know which question is best or not, but it just select the question randomly. That's the second keyword of the random forest. So here's the apple and the orange classifier. Say your test data is this one, sliced apple here. So let's go over this decision tree. So is it green? No. Is it red? Yes. Is it sliced? Yes. Mostly red? Yes. But it is saying orange. Incorrect. Let's see this random forest. So first small tree saying it's orange. Second tree saying apple. Apple, apple, orange, apple. So four apples, two oranges. By the hard voting here, the random forest is predicting this one is apple, which is correct. So the third keyword you should remember of the random forest is the aggregating of the result. We usually say it is voting. By the hard voting, we can say it is the apple from the random forest. And uh, with this aggregating, with the boosting, boosting and aggregating, the short term for this one is the bagging. 